Variables in programming are a way of containing and labeling data. Variables are common to almost any kind of programming environment, from programming languages to Excel. A variable at minimum has two properties, a name and the data that it contains. Often variables also have a type, denoting the type of data that can be contained in the variable. As a simple analog, let's think of a lunch menu that has a soup of the day. On Monday, there might be lentil soup, and on Tuesday, onion soup, so the soup itself varies. In this example, the variable is of course lunch soup, and it can take on different values. Okay, now let's take a look at variables in action using Composer Pro. In the Variables tab, let's create a new page variable. and let's name it lunch soup. Since variable names can't contain spaces, we're using a common naming convention that separates words with capitalization. By default, this variable will be of the text type, which is fine for this example. We'll also give the variable an initial value of lentil soup. The variable will be set to this initial value when the app starts. Most variables are created and initialized upon app start, and they will cease to exist the moment the app is shut down. For example, the variables will be reset in our app every time the preview is reloaded. Then, let's switch back to the view canvas. On the canvas, I already have a headline component and a paragraph component. To make use of our variable, let's have the paragraph text to be set to the value of the variable. We do this by binding the content property of the paragraph to the lunch soup variable. So let's click on the icon next to the property name and let's use the binding editor to select our variable under the data and variables category. After hitting save, we can see in the preview that the paragraph content is now set to the initial variable value, lentil soup. Next, let's create a button that is going to change the variable value. Let's drag in a button component and then from the bottom, let's open up the logic canvas for the button. From the left, let's drag in a set page variable flow function and let's connect it to the component tab event. Selecting the flow function, we can enter a new value for the variable in the assigned value field. Let's enter onion soup and then let's save. Now tapping the button changes the lunch soup variable to a new value. So all in all, what we just did was created a new variable called lunch soup, gave the variable an initial value, which is used when the app starts, created a button and some logic to change the variable value. Things you now know about variables. Variables are used to label and contain data while the app is running. Variables can contain different types of data. In Composer, variable values can be used and read in many places, for example in components. Also, variables can be set to new values using the logic canvas and flow functions.